Welcome to the video tutorial of JPA Diagram from Database. So first to start with create a new file and select categories as persistence and file types as JPA Diagram from Database and click Next. Here we can select a database connection or create a new database connection. Here you can see an available table list from the selected database connection. Now we will select the table to which we want to import in the JPA diagram and click Add. You can also include it or exclude table related through foreign key reference. Here you can change the package and file name of generated JPA diagram. Here you can change class name of generated entity model. And now click finish to import database table and diagram. Now you can see, NeatBeans has created the JPA diagram. Now double click on diagram. And you can see generated JPA diagram from database table. Now we will compare it with existing database tables. Here you can see in service tab, micromarket table have primary key column zip code and entity micromarket canton zip code attribute as primary key. Micromarket table have column area length, area width and radius. And entity micromarket contains it as basic attributes. Now same in customer table. Customer table also have foreign key zip that reference zip code column of micromarket table. So you can see in customer entity, a relation attribute named zip connected to micromarket entity. Same as you can compare all other table with entity and table column with entity attribute and table join column with entity relation attribute. Here you can see the precision and skill property of product Pache's cost attribute and compare it with column property column size and decimal digits. Now here we will add the persistence unit name and the package name of generated JPA entity classes. And now right click and click generate source code. Now you can see NeatBeans has created the JPA entity classes. You can compare generated source code with database tables column.
Now we will delete all database table and generate tables again from generated JPA entity class. Here you can see generated persistence XML. Now you can see all database tables are generated. Now we will modify diagram by adding basic attribute named attribute 1 to micro market entity and generate the source code again. Now you can see generated entity class micro market has one more attribute named attribute 1 with basic annotation. Now we will delete the database table again. To generate modified table micro market with one extra column named attribute 1. It means that if you will make changes in diagram, then you can apply changes on both source code and database tables. If you make changes to database manually then you can update your diagram by importing database. If you will make changes to source code, then you can reverse engineer source code apply changes on JPA diagram. It's a complete a round trip solution for Java eJPA. Thank you.